Congratulations on your brand new Canon PIXMA TS9560 printer. Good choice. Let's get it set up for you. Lay the box on its side and take care to cut through the packaging tape with a suitable knife or a pair of scissors. Open the box and lift out this cardboard envelope with a bag containing your installation disc, manual, warranty card, etc. Carefully slide out the printer. Remove the polystyrene packaging wraps, then take the printer out of the bag. Locate this smaller box which contains the ink cartridges and power cable for your printer. As you can see, we've done a really good job of getting the printer to you in great condition. You can now remove and dispose of all the protective materials, including these orange tabs, responsibly. Let's get you orientated. At the front, you'll see the Operations panel, which allows you to access the printer's settings and operate your machine to its full capabilities. This conveniently lifts up for custom positioning. At the base of the printer, you will see the paper output tray, which slides in and out and is where you will load blank paper. These handy paper guides are adjustable to various sizes and keeps your paper secure and properly orientated. To the left is an SD card reader, making it even easier to print your photos. Immediately above the paper tray is the paper support tray, which pulls out to catch your prints. Lifting the first top lid, you can see the flatbed glass where your printer copies and scans. You can feed documents for copy and scanning here via this paper tray and they'll land here when they're finished. This is the automatic document feeder so you can tackle multiple jobs all at one time. Here at the back is a rear paper input tray where you can print all sorts of new media like cardstock, magnetic paper, photo paper of various sizes all the way up to A3. It has a feed slot cover to ensure nothing else falls in. Open it to slide the paper guides and close it before printing. There is also a convenient rear paper support. To access the inside of the machine and the ink cartridges, lift up the entire scanning unit and cover from the sides. Now that you have a good feel for your printer, let's get started. Locate the power socket at the back of your printer and plug in the cable like this. Make sure the wall outlet switch is off before plugging the other end into the wall. If you're going to be connecting the printer with a USB cable, you don't need to worry about plugging it in just yet. You'll be prompted to do this when you install the software. Now go ahead and switch on the power at the wall and turn on your printer. You will be led through a few user preferences on the operator panel. The touch screen will also provide a helpful graphic animation to help you through the next steps, including installing your ink cartridges. Let's do that now. You will have five cartridges. Remove any plastic packaging, but leave these plastic orange tabs on for now. We will remove these one by one. Open the scanning unit cover. The ink print head will move into position so that you can load the cartridges. Wait until it stopped moving. You will be able to match the corresponding colors here. Let's start with this one on the left, M for magenta. Hold the ink cartridge with the orange tab facing you and upwards. Pry off the tab like this. Be careful not to touch the ink pad as it could stain your hands or surrounding objects. Insert the front end of the ink cartridge into the print head at a slant. Make sure that the position of the ink cartridge matches the label. Press on the top of the ink cartridge until the ink cartridge snaps firmly into place. You will hear the printer beep to let you know it's securely in. Go ahead and repeat that with all of the ink cartridges. Note that you can't print unless all of them are installed. When it comes time to replace an empty cartridge, simply reverse the process. Use your thumb to pinch in this tab and release and simply lift out the empty cartridge. When you are finished installing or replacing, close the lid. The printer will restore the printhead to its printing position inside the machine and ensure proper alignment. Let's put some paper in your printer. Start by pulling out the lower cassette. Slide apart the paper guides and pull this front guide toward you. Now simply load the plain paper you would like to use with the print side face down until it rests against this back protrusion. Then slide the paper guides back against the paper stack to keep it secure and push the cassette all the way back in. And that brings us to the end of the initial setup phase. You can now go ahead and connect your smartphones, tablets and computers.